Okay, here we are back with part two of Rigging a Bear for Second Life. So let's move on to the head and face. And we'll rotate a few bones and check, check the head out and see what needs tweaking. So we'll start with the ear. And that mesh behaviour is not very nice. So let's remove all ear weights from the actual head. So I'm going into edit mode and toggle x-ray up here. And I'm just going to select everything that's not part of the ear. and find M face ear that one left and hit remove and M face ear one right and hit remove. Might as well remove ear two left and ear two right just in case. Now let's have a look. That's better. We've got some stretching there, so let's sort that out. So leave, leave the bone rotated so you can watch what happens as you fix it. Turn on uh, X mirror again. I'm just going to select this row here where the seam is. and use levels on that one to kind of rotate it around. Um, M face ear one left. Now I've got X enabled, so it should work on both sides. We'll see. And move the gain to the left like that. That looks all right. Perhaps do a bit on this row too. This row of edges. Not that far. That looks good. Right, so let's open the jaw now and see what's going on there. It's not too bad, but um, the teeth seem to be drawn up to the upper jaw a bit. So we'll have a look at what's going on there. So select the bear again and edit mode. Now we're going to look in the item tab to see what the teeth are actually weighted to. So to do this, select one vertex. And now we look in the item tab to see where it's going wrong. And you can see that some of these vertices have been weighted to M face lip upper center, which is wrong. So select all of the teeth by hovering over them and press L. Now they actually shouldn't be weighted to the lips at all. They should be weighted only to the teeth. So M face teeth lower. We're going to assign. Then remove all lower lips from the teeth. So in face lip lower centre or lower left. Remove lower centre, remove lower right, remove. Good, got some crunching there to sort out. I'll just look inside the mouth now to check if everything is okay there. 
Hmm. Let's put them in mesh in edit mode a minute. And vertex select, yes. You seem to have some jumbled vertices. So let's go into and let's toggle X ray. I don't think this is weight, so I think it's mesh that needs a uh, blender smoothing, not weight smoothing. So I'll try weight smoothing first and see what happens. Nothing. So let's right click. And choose smooth vertices. That's more or less sorted it out. Not very symmetrical. So we're going to right click the mesh in object mode and choose shade smooth. That seems to be fixed. Let's check the nose. Not ideal. So leave the bone posed. Select the bear. Edit mode and we'll just remove the nose center from these vertices. And that's okay. Now let's examine the eyes. I'm going to select one vertex and look in the item tab. And the eyes have been weighted somehow to the eyelid lower and upper and we don't want that. We want to remove the eyelids and assign only the eye bones. So I'm going to hover over each eye, press L, L. I'm going to remove the M face eyelid, or all the eyelids, move. Now they need the eye bones assigned. Now I know that we are talking about MI left and MI right because the pose bones, the animation bones are called I left and I right. So we just add an M for the vertex group. So plus double click group MI left. And while we're here, um, I, right. we're back into edit mode. Select only the left eye. Click the MI left and assign. Same for the right eye. Sign. So now they can be animated if we want to. We'll just check that. Right, so make sure the eye focus is not on, otherwise you won't be able to move them. 
to rotate them. So I'm just going to select one. So we'll do a test export now. So file, export, Collada Abastar DAE, this one. Bear. And then we get one error in export selection. It says your export is okay, but it could be improved. So it's limited the weight count to four for eight vertices in the mesh. Now we'd already done that, but I don't know why it missed eight of them. So let's fix those ourselves. I'm surprised to see that it's actually shown up the incorrect vertices. So if we select one of them, we can see that there's five on there instead of four. So while they're highlighted, I'm just going to do limit total. Deform pose bones four. Normalize all. Now we'll try another export. And no error. Let's try uploading him to Second Life now. Now before I upload the bear, I'm going to create an invisible skin or an invisible alpha to wear. Otherwise the human never disappears when I wear the bear. So that will be create new close new alpha and wear it so double click to wear and then edit it and we've got to make all of these transparent just tick each one and save as Bear Alpha. Now we can take off Jamie without nudity. Now we'll upload the bear. So you'll notice he's stretched out, but we'll fix that in a minute. So I usually make the lowest uh, LOD zero and choose the lowest for physics. That helps with cost. And then in the rigging tab, include joint positions and then he'll shrink down to the size we want. Now you notice the arms are crossed behind his back and that's because his rig is in A pose. Now you could make an animation to help him hold his arms out from his body or we could convert that to T pose. I think I would prefer that option. So select the shoulders we have to do this visually. So R. Zoom in a bit. Still a kink there. And then click with joints in posing panel. And then export the bear again. And then back in Second Life. Clear settings and reset form. And there's the new bear. So 
LOD0, physics lowest, rigging, include joint positions. Now you see his arms are by his side. And it should be 11 lindens and one land impact. So now I'm going to take off this uh, outfit. And wear this. I usually attach it to stomach actually. And now we'll upload the texture. Right, we'll apply it to the bear. Now examine him again. So the eyes are working, they're looking around and they're flicking. But he's hovering. So we've got a trick for that. So right click, go to appearance, hover height, drag the slider down to the ground. Now we'll upload him one last time. But this time we'll enter that figure into the Z offset box in the rigging tab. So tick joints again. Now we go minus 0.326. At this point he's in the ground until we make this zero again. Now he looks correct. And he's fine. Take him for a little walk. In part three, I'd like to cover making animations for the bear. Bye for now.